Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you the new Appify source in clay.com that gives you access to a whole new world of web scraping. When I first found Appify, it easily became one of my go-tos whenever we needed custom web scraping to be done. Appify is usually what we go for. So whenever we need to scrape similar web data or we need to scrape uh, indeed.com data, or maybe we need to scrape Zillow data, we go to Appify for all of these things. And so it integrates super easily inside of clay. You could use it as a source. We would just pull data from Appify actors and you just choose your account and you get everything set up. And I'll show you this in, in a second. So we'll just hop over here. So this is Appify and what you, you could do on this platform. I know my camera is out, but I think we're just going to keep rolling. What you can do on this platform is you can use the Appify store here in order to find custom scrapers. So by popularity, you can see that their Google map scraper is one of the most popular ones that they have. They have an Instagram and a Twitter profile scraper. They have a lot of social media scraping, Amazon product scraping. But what we use this for a lot is scraping Indeed. So see how we have the Indeed job scrapers down here. And then there's a LinkedIn job scraper as well. And then we have, um, what else do we use this for? I've used it to scrape Zillow data before and Airbnb data. We've used it to scrape hotels.com before and Expedia and TripAdvisor. And then similar web is probably my favorite. Yeah. My favorite one, similar web scraper. This one's probably one of my favorites. And so you can get access to all of the scrapers and scrape the data, use Appify to get an understanding of how these work. So you would have to sign up, try them for free. I think I can go through this for you a little bit. You might have to sign in. So you'll see every scraper has inputs like this, where we need to just put in, you know, our inputs. They all have documentation on how to run. And once you run all, once you put in what you want to run, then you're going to be getting a lot of, you know, different outputs and things like that. And just honestly, it works really, really, really well. And so what it would look like is I've already run a similar web scraper. And so if you hit continue, we can just hit our similar web scrapers here. And see how I have this G2 Explorer. I can click on that one and I can get data from a specific run or I can just get all of the data that I ever ran. I don't think there's anything in the G2 scraper, so maybe we should have done something else. I'm not sure if I actually ran this one, but I definitely ran the similar web scraper. So I can show that if this doesn't run. But basically what it would do is it just pulls in the data. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you, I definitely ran the similar web scraper. So very quick, so sorry. And then similar web. And then you see we'll have a brand new table with the data that we scraped from similar web and we'll just give that a second to load and we'll be able to get things like uh here why is it not downloading? anyway what it would do is it would download i suppose we have to run this at this point but then you can get all of your data from these actors and it's a really great integration i should make a, a fuller video one day about this but appify being integrated with clay like i said gives you a whole new world of integrations that you can have access to.